Philip, Philip Mountbatten, formerly Prince Philip of the Greek royal family. Though born in Greece, Philip has been raised in England and was a British citizen. Abbey of Westminster, Elizabeth married the man of her choice. The ceremonial drive reflected her happiness. For had she not declared as a young girl, when I get married, I shall make my husband as happy as mummy has made papa. tribute to Diana myself. She was an exceptional and gifted human being. In good times and bad, she never lost her capacity to smile and laugh, nor to inspire others with her warmth and kindness. Better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. Christmas can be hard for those who have lost loved ones. for emergencies. So do I. I keep mine in here.
Since childhood, the future queen wanted to be a housewife. She wished to marry a farmer and lead a quiet, happy life. Did royal duty ruin her plans? How did she support children during the war, being a child herself? And was being a queen worth it after all? Finally, you'll find out the real answers to these questions. Queen Elizabeth led a truly extraordinary life. She was born way back in April 21st, 1926. Baby Princess Elizabeth was front page news here and in America. She was known as Princess Betty. She became hugely popular right after her birth. This little girl really was a star in her own right. And in fact, her mother once said, it frightens me that people love her so much. She was never raised as a future Queen of England. Her childhood was quite simple. Her ambition was to marry a farmer and have lots of horses and have lots of dogs and really be an aristocratic housewife. That's what she wanted to be. But World War II changed everything. Little Lilibet and her sister Margaret were separated from their parents. We packed for the weekend and stayed for five years. And the feeble barbed wire, of course, wouldn't have kept anybody out, but it kept us in. Margaret and Elizabeth spent five years incarcerated at Windsor Castle. From there, she made the first of her famous radio broadcasts in 1940. Thousands of you in this country have had to leave your homes and be separated from your fathers and mothers. My sister Margaret Rose and I feel so much for you, as we know from experience what it means to be away from those we love most of all. She reassured the children of Britain who had been evacuated from their homes and families. But in the end, all will be well, for God will care for us and give us victory and peace. During this time, she first met a charming naval officer, Philip, who simply took her breath away. The love affair blossomed almost immediately. She was only 13 years old. He was five years her senior. Princess Elizabeth saw this 18-year-old, six foot tall, incredibly handsome. He was nicknamed the Viking, and she fell desperately, desperately head over heels in love with him at first sight. I am so happy. My future husband is by my side. Their marriage became a ray of hope for the whole nation. This was a day of national rejoicing. A day indeed which had caught the imagination of men and women all over the world. The war ended, Lilibet found love and all was seemingly perfect. Her dreams of a happy, quiet family life were coming true. But tragedy struck them again. Elizabeth's father, King Edward VI, died. The future of the whole nation was put on her tender shoulders. She had to forget everything she ever wanted to be and become the queen. The death of her father had a huge impact on her because suddenly her young marriage, her young children were all but taken away from her. She was queen. She had specific duties which she had to do which really left her very little time to see her children. Her loyal husband, Philip, also gave up his career and kneeled before his wife. It's naturally disappointing because I'd just been promoted to commander. And in fact, the, the most interesting part of the naval career was just starting. But Elizabeth has always been his priority. Being married to the Queen, it seems to me that my first duty was to to serve her in the best way I could. She took on a hard duty and became the most famous woman in the world. But was it what she wanted? She was a, a woman in a man's world, stepping into what everyone thought was only a man could do. I think she really carved her own way in that sense and produced an incredible amount of courage to do the job and to step up to the plate. And, and she's not let herself or anyone down in the process. And it was a tough job that barely left her any time to be with her children. Official duties meant long absences away from home for the young queen. On one occasion, her son hardly recognized his mother. Elizabeth sacrificed a lot for her country, but she gained an endless love from her nation, as well as an amazing supportive family. Around her 95th birthday, she parted with the love of her life, the late Prince Philip, though she found enough strength within herself to smile and continue her hard work. 
Grief is the price we pay for love. And now it was her time to reunite with him forever. The Queen will be dearly missed and never forgotten. Rest in peace.